Hi everybody, it's me Sharon. Um, I'm sorry, again, I'm late. Um, this is my cast off video for Tuesday, but it's Thursday. So, uh, sorry, just thought I heard that I'm waiting for the plumber to come. I kind of blew out a pipe underneath the sink uh, yesterday, so it wants to drain everything onto the floor. So, this week I don't have a lot to show, I really don't. Um, I have, um, I had bought a, a friend of mine gave me a book, um, oh, maybe last year sometime, and it's, uh, it's called, uh, Crochet on a Roll, uh, and it's called Gifts on a Roll, and, um, it's really pretty stuff in here. Anyway, um, Crochet on a Roll, it's when you take your, your hook and you wrap it around, like, 10, 15 times, and then you grab the wool and you pull it through like you would do where a half double crochet, yeah, uh, half treble crochet, you know. So anyways, um, I decided to make the, I wanted to try it because I hadn't, and I had seen uh, a couple of tips by Beth in Texas about using um, uh, a straw to make it easier to go through because, you know, your hook gets caught on the threads and you have to pick them over and, you know, anyway, so I thought, well, I'm going to give it a try just to see what it looks like when it's done, because I don't want to, you know, spend a lot of time on it if I don't like doing it, so I made myself, in the book, there is a, a Christmas angel, and this is, oops, there we go, this is what the half roll looks like, that is wrapped around, this here, is wrapped around 15 times, and then you take and you pull the hook up. You know, you do your, like, I, I think it was like a chain five or something. Uh, you make a foundation circle. And then um, you work into that. And I had a five of these half double rolls. And then you break off the thread. And um, this is the center circle. I'm really not making much sense, am I? Hmm. Oh, well. Nothing new, nothing new. <laughs> Anyways, you make your circle, and you have, uh, there's like a, see, there's like a chain two, and then you'll crochet single crochet, and then you chain two, and you end up with these little loops. And in the loops, you make these, this first one here is the skirt. It's made with five of these uh, crochet on a roll. And then once you do the five, you uh, cut your thread, you finish it off, and then you do the little loopy thing, and you do the same thing on the sides for the wings, you make one, um, these are all half double crochets for a circle, you pull it up to make it a circle, and a little, uh, halo, put a little string on it, and voila, you have got yourself a Christmas ornament for your tree, a nice cute little angel. <clears throat> So there's a few in here. There's some uh, coasters. I might try that and see what happens. I wouldn't want to do it all the time, but these are kind of cute. I like these. I might make them in a few different colors. And last week when I went out shopping, I didn't show you the books I got. I talked about them, but I didn't show you. Uh, one of them I got was called Crazy Kids Caps. And it is from Red Heart. And it uses Red Heart Super Saver. And inside, there are 12 patterns. 3, 6, 9, 10. No, sorry, 11 patterns. And here's all the patterns you have. Um, let's see, we've got an owl, a kitty. And that is, this one here, is an ice cream sundae. Frog, a dog, a bee, a ladybug. <clears throat> a fish, a reindeer, a pumpkin, and uh, this one at the bottom here. This is um, kind of like, um, what did they call that one? All-American Kid, it's called. Uh, patterns are really nice. Very easy. They're uh, not simple, simple, but they're not, uh, they're not hard. So... I got that book and I paid, I think, $3.95 for this book. Yeah, I think, or $4.95, something like that. 
But you know, I mean, if even if it's five dollars and you've got eleven patterns, that's like fifty cents a pattern. You know. And then I bought this one from Loops and Threads, and it's uh, using impeccable worsted weight yarn. Well, you know me. Old economical me. I use Red Heart Super Saver for everything if I can. So I've got this book here. And it's called Ho Ho Celebrations. And I paid $5.95 for this book here. And in here, there are 22 projects to knit or crochet. And it has everything from uh, garland. Oops, sorry. There's garland, uh, socks, knit and crochet. Um, these ones here, right here. I don't know if I can get close enough to show you. They look like little red mittens, and they're knitted. There's dog coats and candy cane uh, or candy cushions. There's uh, these are um, this here right here are little. Um, they hold gift cards, you know, to give away at Christmas or whatever birthdays or whatever. I love this little white teddy bear down here. He's so cute, but he's knitted, and I'm not sure I want to do a knit project right now. There's a circle. But I did make this one. Yeah. And there's a, a gingerbread house there, too. So there are quite a few. I'll show you the the uh, hat I made. I made the reindeer, the Rudolph one. And this is the hat. All I have left to do is just put, I, uh, it's supposed to be a snap on there, but I don't like it. I think I'm going to just put a little chain and a button so it can be buttoned underneath. Then I made the scarf to go with it. See, just a nice little, it's a kid's scarf, you know, just a simple, simple, simple pattern. Not that hard. Okay, and this here is the cutest thing I ever thought I I, that is so, what an ingenious idea. What happens is, is you've got this here, slides up and down, see, so that they don't lose the scarf, but it comes off, it does come off, and what it is, is it's just a little Rudolph head, see, cute little Rudolph head, and in the back there's a loop, and that's where the scarf slides through, and if they don't have it on, they can put it on, a cute little uh, have a little bracelet so they don't lose it. You know, how cute is that? You know, I'm such a suck. But I guess that's pretty well, that's all I've done. Oh, no, no. I did try my hand at um, knitting. I dropped it, that's why I forgot about it. You know, out of sight, out of mind. Anyways. I got this uh, this book that I make my uh, my little uh, Nike high top slippers out of, and my cow slippers, and my big pig, my big stuffed pink pig slippers. But they had a pa a, a page of knitted patterns in there, and um, in the pattern there was four knitted slippers, and this is what they look like. Now this one's knitted. It's all done in one solid piece. It's one piece and then you uh, you stitch it up the front and then you stitch this back piece up. And then you add the head and the ears. And you can make this this pattern. Um, they have, the, it's the same pattern. Um, depending on the color you use and the ears you put on, there's a pattern for the bunny, a mouse, a dog, and a kitten. So cute. The only thing I don't like about this is I like slippers to be thick. And these are really, you know, like they're really. And this is made with Red Heart Super Saver yarn. I've stuffed it. I'm stuffing this here. I've stuffed the bottom too so I can hold it open. But there, it's just a little too soft for my liking. But cute, cute, very cute. I don't, I don't know if you can see it very well. I'm trying to. Look at my, I have a big monitor, 
big 22 inch over here that I watch instead of my uh, my laptop because I can see better on the bigger one. So if it looks like I'm ignoring you, I'm not really. I'm just old eyes. So anyway, cute, cute. I got to make the second one. I only made the first one. I wanted to see what it looks like. Now what I need is I need some information. I want to make some more of those pop can tab purses. I've had a few people inquire, and I'm not sure. I mean, I, I you know I can only drink so much pop. You know, um, I if anyone knows where you can either online or anywhere else uh, purchase uh, bags of these uh, tabs, I would really appreciate it. You know. It's, um, I have people saving them up, but, you know, they bring me a little baggie in it, and then they'll have, like, 25, 30 little tabs. And, and it's not that I don't appreciate it. I do. But I don't have a whole lot of friends doing this. And, of course, there are people who say, oh, yeah, I'll save them for you. And then, you know, they forget. They throw them out, you know. Um, so if anyone knows where um, you can purchase these things, uh, if you could just send me a little message or uh, put it down below in the in the comment bar, uh, I would really appreciate it. I don't mind buying them. I don't mind paying because it does take for that purse I make. It takes 450 tabs to make one purse, and I know of four people that would like to have a purse that are willing to buy them from me, and um, I can't give them a time frame because I don't know how long it's going to take me to save up that many tabs. So if I could purchase them somewhere would be a whole lot better for me. Anyways, that's so much more rambling on. Um, I want to say hi to everybody. Uh, I hope everybody's having a great day. It's, it's October 25th here and it is 22 degrees outside. The sun is shining, the leaves are turning and they're starting to fall a bit. Um, it's looking beautiful outside. It's really gorgeous out there. The, I got the windows open. Um, so, nice day. Might go outside and maybe see if I can work on that Halloween stuff, seeing as they finished my front veranda and they cleaned up all the garbage from the front yard. <laughs> so, now we just have to get rid of that dumpster out of the driveway and we'll be happy campers. So, anyway, I'm going to say goodbye. Please check out all the other Cast Off crew members. Uh, the list will be below. Um, wonderful videos, wonderful information, great people, guys and gals. Um, hi to everybody, and uh, we'll see you next week. I hope it will be on the right day. I'm trying very hard to get back on track here, but it's, you know, not working out that great. So, anyway, I'm going to let you go. Bye for now. See you next week. Oops. <laughs>